Hi, guys. How is it going? Okay? So, yeah, I will talk a little bit about the, how can you guys test the web application with the Python framework called Splinter. So, yeah, first slide about me. I'm Yevgeny. I work in Prague for SUSE for two years now. But uh, I'm originally I'm from Russia. You probably can hear from this my Russian accent. I'm a senior automation engineer at SUSE in the Kubernetes team, um, specializing in Linux, OpenStack, con and containers. And also, I am a um, Docker Prague meetup organizer here in Prague. Um, so what this is all about? Um, it's about testing the web apps. And if you're interested in this topic, then it's a really good talk for you. If not, so you can you know, feel free to grab some coffee and you know, relax. Yeah. And let me begin with a small story. So two years ago, I came here uh, to Czech Republic from Russia. I had uh, curly hair. You maybe can't believe me now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, words like uh, was krasny uh, život was sounds really funny for me because in Russian it means you have a red belly, and I was like, what? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I started my career at SUSE as a QA maintenance engineer, and it was like uh, real manual testing uh, over and over again. I was the part of the OpenStack team, and we had a lot of web applications there, and uh, we, we need to test it over and over again before update and after update, and it was kind of boring. Yeah, uh, and the part of the uh, OpenSUSE, uh, uh, SUSE OpenStack project, sorry, uh, was the crowbar, the web application that I uh, wanted to test, I was needed to test. Uh, it helps us to deploy the SUSE cloud, and it looks something like that. So it's a huge web application. You can see like this, a lot of buttons and everything, and you can imagine that you know you log in and you have to click everything, and then you should update this stuff, and then you should click everything again. So it was kind of boring. Um, no. Uh, what's happening? Shit. Ah, yeah, it's working. Uh, yeah, at SUSE, we have a thing called Hack Week. It's basically uh, during one week, uh, two times per year, you can do whatever you want, like related to software engineering, or maybe you can, if you like to play the guitar, you can play the guitar whole week, and it's like uh, um, interruption free. And uh, you can learn a lot. So for me, it was like really nice thing. So, uh, I was thinking that, OK, from this week, I can automate this boring crowbar testing. And uh, yeah, and, uh, and in my head, it was one, one idea that I wanted to use Python for that, because it's awesome, right? Yeah, and in the end of the, of the project, I created the tool called Gordon. Uh, because, you know, crowbar, Gordon Freeman, Half-Life, anyone? Yeah, 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 OK. So yeah, so basically, it's script, you just run it, and the browser is open, it, and then everything is automated, and it's pretty cool. You just need to run the script before and after update, and that's it. Yeah, and I used Splinter. Uh, and Splinter is an open source tool for the testing web application using Python. You can read it here, probably. And it sounds like Selenium, right? And um, you're kind of right, because Splinter is the abstraction layer of Selenium. Uh, and it, make, it makes it easy to write automation te tests for the web applications. So why use Splinter? Uh, it has really simple API, uh, multi-web drivers. You can you can read it: uh, Chrome, Firefox, Phantom JS, No, Internet Explorer, or Edge guys. Sorry, Windows guys. Yeah, and uh, CSS and XPath selectors, which is pretty cool. You can go, for example, if you are using Chrome, you can go, you can press Control Shift C. You can go to Developer Mode on on the web page, and you can, for example, copy some element uh, as XPath selector and put it in your code. Uh, you can execute JavaScript, and yeah, works with Ajax and JavaScript. So samples. 
you can see the codes in Selenium, uh, and you can see the code is Splinter. Uh, basically, if you want to fill the username field on the page, it's simple like this. Awesome. Um, yeah, and more. So, um, on this example, I want to go to the web page bing.com and found my Twitter. And step by step, yeah. First of all, we need to import browser and uh, instantiate it. So, yeah, from Splinter import browser and with browser as browser. By the way, if you are not putting anything in the browser um, on the last line, it, you will uh, use automatically Firefox. But you can put their Chrome or what, what do you want? Yeah, then uh, we, are using, we are visiting a web, uh, website using the browser.visit method. Uh, and fill the form. You should find this sb uh, underscore form underscore q with, uh, um, as I said, control shift c on the developer modes in the web page. Yeah, and put their uh, Twitter account. Yeah, and then, then um, with uh, methods find by ID, you can, uh, <clears throat> you can pr press the button and uh, don't forget to quit. So it's just, like, just simple like it is. Yeah, here I found a really nice, uh, really nice information. Uh, if you know the um, uh, web page called pythonliphunt.com, you can compare like frameworks or um, um, yeah, and we can, we, can, we can see here Selenium versus Splinter. And this is code quality is pretty cool. You can see that uh, with Selenium, the code quality is L2, and uh, with Splinter is L5. And Selenium using the JavaScript, and Splinter using Python, right? And L2 basically means uh, that the source code is still low quality. However, there are places of the gems to be found. Projects uh, feels more managed. However, refactoring should be at the top of the agenda to keep the project maintainable, keep up the good work. And L5, like in a Splinter case, uh, it's excellent work. You have built high quality, fine-tuned, and optimized machine. You should be proud of your achievement. So, yeah. Uh, probably you can, uh, now you can, uh, can think that you can do everything with Splinter, or you should throw away all your Selenium stuff. But my answer will be, hell no. Because don't forget about the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's a um, boring description from the Wikipedia. But basically, it means that if you are starting with some technology, you feel like your superpower, yeah? You, you feel like, you're, yeah, I can do everything with that. It's like, it's, that's cool. So yeah, and in my case, it was the same. But uh, we, are lack, uh, we have a lack of advanced features in uh, Splinter. So no screenshot functionality. For example, if you want to have a screenshot of some step on the web page, you can't do that. And no clicking based test creating like you do with uh, uh, Selenium. So, but this list can be uh, go on and on. And because um, I had these two issues, but maybe you have something else. And that's why I think that uh, this project needs some help from you guys. So feel free to go to this website and uh, check it out. Maybe you um, check uh, out the simple code and uh, you know maybe add your, uh, some features that you you are missing, because this co this project is really cool. So yeah, review. Yeah, Splinter is cool. Splinter is simple and uh, is fast in terms of development time. Basically, just because you are typing less. Then yeah, Splinter. Um, yeah, but if you need to test a complex web application, you still should consider using some Selenium code in your project. Uh, yeah, that was quite fast, I think. Yeah. So useful links. This uh, first one is docs, uh, the Splinter docs, and the second one is the GitHub project. Yeah. Um, that, that is pretty much it, I think. Yeah. And I saved 10 minutes of your life. Yeah? Thanks. <laughs> any questions? Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions? Questions, comments? Or oh, after how wow, they're many coming. Attempts to breach after how many attempts to breach or which conditions do you con consider a server as secure? Um, 
So how many of them strange? I'm not sure how to answer this question. Uh, is the Can asker in yeah. the room? I'm not sure I understand the relevance either. Okay. Sorry. Uh, maybe if you find Evgeny afterwards, you can talk to him and yeah, yeah. Ask, feel free uh, to catch me. It's like ask I'm a better question. Hoodie. All right. Yeah. Is it possible to mix splinter and selenium? Yes, it is possible. In one coat you can mix it because, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, splinter is just abstraction layer. Can Splinter help me with captures? No, I don't think so, that it can help you with captures, but feel free to add this functionality to the, to the code. As I said, the project's really cool, so, but it has um, not so many developers, not so much attention as the um, Selenium, so that will be pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, any more questions? Okay. Uh, thank you, Evgeny. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, you guys.